Welcome to this video. In this video, we will solve a numerical problem based on heating of electrical machines. So you can pause the video and read the question. Then we will move on to the solution part. So here in the question, it is mentioned that uh, the rating of the transformer is 400 kVA and it has maximum efficiency at 80 percentage of full load. And during a heat run test, the temperature rise after one hour is 24 degrees Celsius. After one hour, temperature rises 24 degrees Celsius. And after two hours, the temperature rises 34 degrees Celsius. So it is asked to calculate the thermal tank constant or heating tank constant and the final steady temperature rise. So we will complete this first part and then we will come back to the second part. Okay, so the general expression for heating uh, tem temperature rise during heating um, we can write the general expression that we have already discussed so the general expression for temperature rise theta is theta m into 1 minus e raise to minus t by th plus theta i into e raise to minus t by th so during the heat run test the initially the machine is on uh, at ambient temperature uh, then it then it is turned on or uh, temperature rises so initial temperature rise theta i is zero because it starts from ambient temperature conditions so the second term will vanish so so the expression for temperature rise becomes theta equal to theta m into e, 1 minus e raise to minus t by th now we can use the information given that is at t equal to 1 hour temperature rises 24 degrees celsius so if you substitute these numbers uh, 24 theta becomes 24 24 is equal to theta m into 1 minus e raised to minus t is 1 1 hour by th that is equation number one then at t equal to 2 hours temperature rises 34 degrees celsius so you will get the second equation 34 is equal to theta m into 1 minus e raised to minus 2 by th now you have two unknowns theta m and th and there are two equations so we if you solve these two equations you will get the values of theta m and th so to solve uh, these two equations first we can divide equation 1 by 2 so if you divide these two equations theta m will cancel so 24 by 34 is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus 1 by th divided by 1 minus e raised to minus 2 by th now we have one equation and one unknown th so to solve for th we can make use of a substitution that is e raised to minus 1 by th is equal to an unknown value x so if you use x is equal to e raised to minus 1 by th uh, you the previous equation becomes 24 by 34 is equal to 1 minus x by 1 minus x square okay because e raised to minus 2 by th becomes x square so the denominator becomes 1 minus x square so 1 minus x square can be written as 1 minus x into 1 plus x so these two terms will cancel so 24 by 34 is equal to 1 by 1 plus x and if you solve this you will get x is equal to 0.417 uh, x is nothing but e raised to minus 1 by th so e raised to minus 1 by th is 0.417 so if you take natural logarithm on both sides left hand side becomes logarithm of e raised to minus 1 by th so natural logarithm of e raised to minus 1 by th is minus 1 by th so LS, lhs becomes minus 1 by th is equal to natural log of right hand side 0.417 so if you solve this you will get th is equal to 1.14 hours so that is heating time constant now we have to calculate final temperature rise final steady temperature rise that is theta m that can be calculated by substituting this th in either equation 1 or equation 2 so we can substitute it in equation 1 so equation 1 is 20 i have rewritten equation 1 here it is 24 equal to theta m into 1 minus e raised to minus 1 by th and this term we know e raised to minus 1 by th the value is 0.417 so if you substitute that you will get theta m so theta m will be 
41.2 degree celsius so this is the final steady temperature rise so we have calculated both th uh, and theta m so so the first part is over now we can go back to the question and read the second part so in the second part it is mentioned that if by use of a fan the cooling is improved so that the rate of heat dissipation per unit area per degree celsius rise in temperature is increased by 15 percentage then find the new kv rating possible for the same there are two options for the same final temperature rise as before and if the final temperature rise is 50 degrees celsius so we have to calculate the new kva rating of the machine if the heat dissipation per unit area per degree celsius rise in temperature is increased by 15 percent for two cases if the final temperature is theta m is 41.2 degree celsius or if the theta m value is 50 degree celsius so we will solve the two cases So to solve that, we can use the relation given in the first part, that is maximum efficiency uh, is given as 80 percentage. Maximum efficiency occurs at 80 percentage of full load. Okay, maximum efficiency occurs at 80 percentage of full load. So condition for maximum efficiency is this. Iron loss should be equal to X square times full load copper loss, where X is the fraction of full load uh, rating at which maximum efficiency takes place at x times kva maximum efficiency will be occurring uh, then to get maximum efficiency this is the condition to be satisfied pi is equal to x square pcu where pcu is the copper loss and pi is the iron loss so we know that maximum efficiency takes place at 80 percentage of full load so x is 0.8 80 percentage of 400 kV. So x is 0.8. So pi is 0.8 square into PCU. So we will get pi is 0.64 PCU. Okay, so what so the condition used is this at 80 percentage of full load efficiency is maximum. So iron loss is 0.8 square into full load copper loss. So iron loss is 0.64 full load copper loss. Now uh, we can rewrite this as full load copper loss is equal to 1 by 0 0.64 iron loss or it is 1 if you calculate this this will be 1.563 times iron loss so the so copper loss is 1.563 times iron loss for this 400 kva transformer full load copper loss full load copper loss is 1.563 times iron loss so what is the total loss at full load so at full load or at any load iron loss is same pi and copper loss at full load is pcu so total loss at full load is iron loss plus full load copper loss pi plus pcu so pi plus pcu is given 1.563 so if you simplify this you will get 2.563 pi so so the total losses in the 400 kVA transformer is 2.563 times iron loss. Now in the second part it, it is mentioned that a fan is used so that the heat dissipation per unit area per degree Celsius rise in temperature that is lambda. Lambda increases by 15 percentage. So we know a relation connecting theta m q s and lambda that is final steady temperature rises theta m is q by s lambda theta m is q by s lambda where q is the total losses in the machine and s is the surface area and lambda is heat this specific heat dissipation per unit area per degree celsius rise in temperature so you can rewrite this as q is equal to theta m into s lambda q is equal to theta m into s lambda so there are three factors affecting q one is theta m another one is area and then lambda so in the part a of the question it was mentioned that final steady temperature rises same as before so theta m is 
constant uh, has not changed area is also a constant and lambda is increased by 15 percentage so theta m there is no change is in area there is no change and lambda increases by 15 percentage so it becomes 1.15 times the previous value so our allowable losses new losses in the machine becomes 1.15 times the previous losses previous total losses 2.563 times pa this we got from the previous uh, calculation so the total new allowable losses new allowable losses when a fan is used becomes 2.947 pa okay so the allowable copper losses 2.947 pa is total allowable losses now we need to calculate the allowable copper losses so copper losses total loss minus iron iron loss so total losses we calculated at 2.947 pa and iron loss is pa so we'll get 1.947 pa and pa is nothing but pcu divided by 1.563 this we this relation we already know so 1.947 into this we have calculated so 1.947 into pcu by 1.563 so we'll get 1.246 pcu okay we used this relation so now the allowable copper losses becomes 1.246 pcu so so at, we know that at x times full load the copper loss is x square full load copper loss so so the total copper losses at this new loading condition is 1.246 pcu so this is our new x square value so x square is equal to 1.246 and x is equal to 1.116 so now what we have done is the when a fan is used the rating of the machine can be increased because the heat dissipation increases so allowable copper losses increases to 1.246 pcu so if x is the x times 400 kva is the new rating then the new copper loss is x square times the full load copper loss in the previous case so full load copper uh, now the total copper losses is 1.246 pcu so it is x square pcu so you can equate for x square and x square is 1.246 so x is 1.116 so the new output is this x times the original rating 400 kva so 446.4 kva this is the new rating of the machine now we have assumed same final steady temperature rise that is a part a of the question now uh, you ha we have to repeat this calculation for final temperature rise equal to 50 degrees celsius that we can do now so that is the b part maximum allowable temperature rise is 50 degrees celsius so i have written the expression for q q is theta m into s into lambda theta m was previously 41.2 degrees celsius now it becomes 50 degrees celsius so there is a change in theta m by this uh, in this ratio 50 divided by 41.2 and the area is uh, a constant area is not changed lambda in is increased by 15 percentage as before so lambda in uh, becomes 1.15 times okay so so the new losses will be this number multiplied by the original previous losses so 50 by 41.2 this corresponds to change in theta m then into 1 this corresponds to area area there is no change then lambda is increased by 15 percentage so 1.15 into previous allowable losses so uh, the new losses becomes 1.39 if you simplify this you will get 1.396 into previous allowable losses that is 2.563 pa so the total new allowable losses is 3.578 pa now we can express this in terms of copper losses pc so total losses is 3.578 pa so the new copper losses total 
minus iron. So total loss is 3.578 PA, iron loss is PA. So if you do the calculation, it is 2.578 PA, new copper loss. And PA is PCU divided by 1.563. This relation we already uh, derived. So two, for this example, so 2.578 into PCU by 1.563. So this is 1.65 PCU. So now the X square term is 1.65 in this case. So X is root of 1.65 or 1.284. So the new output will be 1.284 times 400 kV original rating. So the new rating is 513, 513 kV. Okay, so we'll uh, continue in the next video. Thank you.